Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm George, and today we're not doing a radio. Aww. Sort of. Just a little bit of a diversion from radio. <laughs> not that I'm getting fed up of radio. No, don't get me wrong. I like radio. Radio is good. It's very, very good. Very nice. But I thought today I would do something slightly different, and I dug out a kit. So on the bench today, we have a Chinese medium wave transmitter kit. Now the diagrams on the internet showed it to be one of the dirtiest transmitters I've ever seen in my life. So I thought, yeah, this has got to be fun, hasn't it? Let's see how dirty this thing is. So what comes in the kit, you may ask? Well, you have a PCB, a real pile of bits, and you get two bits of paper, both in Chinese. Uh, you've got a a layout here and a layout here and you also have a component list in Chinese on the back. Now I'm hoping everything's here, if it's not it's not, if it is it is. Hey ho! Damn you man cave workshop! Hey ho! Who do you think you are? Soldering iron's warmed up, um, let's get the thin solder. Now I can't remember what tip is in the iron, let's uh, move that lead and find out. Oh, we have the, the standard pointy soldery thing tip in there, nothing special. So let's have a look first, sort out what we've got. Polyvericon, couple of coils. Chinese kits being what they are, you're not usually going to get the best printed resistors. So let's have a look. Does it say on the board what the values are? Yes, it does. So the board is actually marked as to what components go where on it, which is quite handy. We're nearly done. These are two resistors out of my own stock to replace the missing ones. That seems to be about the only thing that's missing so far. Hey ho. Sean, you've made me say it again. I haven't cleaned the board, I've just done the soldering thing. So what have we got? Well, we've got a pile of resistors that we I've got no space for. We've got three caps that we've got no space for. We've got a disc capacitor that we've got no space for, a spare screw and two nylon washers. Now no doubt if I translate the Chinese it might tell me what I've got to do with them. But at the moment there's only one thing I can tell to do with them and that is not worry about them. So this officially is our transmitter and it will be a case of seeing exactly what it does when we stick some elastic trickery up its bum. Need an aerial, need some form of aerial, a piece of wire, that'll do. And that will just tack on to here. Uh, if I tin it first, it might help. Let's just put a blob of solder on the aerial point. That's the antenna. Let's clear those away. Now it's really not the ideal antenna for this. You need something, they reckon about nine feet long, but I haven't got one of them. Not yet anyway. I've got plenty of bits of wire which I can do that with. Now the thing for me to do is to get my power supply leads 
just bring them over like so. Now it says nine volts, so let's just um, power the thing up, bring the voltage to nine volts. No LED because it's not switched on. Tag a bit of line to that actually because it's it's a bit of crap earth. Let's use one of these. That'll do. It's a shame you don't get a a type of knob for this. Maybe you do in some kits. This one you don't. And the switch is a bit flaky I'll say let's have a look now where we're going right okay so I did my own resistors I finished off the board and now you can see various views on the cameras over here on this camera you've got the spectrum analyzer and it's showing the center frequency of one megahertz now at the moment we've got no music at all going through the thing and this is the output we're getting we're getting the main carrier but we're getting one two three i could actually set the span to 10 megahertz there we go that's what it looks like there's harmonics all the way across both sides of the carrier so it's not a particularly clean transmitter at all i'm a dirty foul little boy this is the baseline up here of the signal that's coming out it's not a clean straight carrier either there's uh, a little bit of noise on it that could be from the power supply i'll give it that we're not uh, perfectly clear that way at the moment the power supply is set to 9 volts and it's drawing 110 milliamps on this camera up here you'll see that there's a laptop screen just here and a little Grundig radio. Now the Grundig radio is tuned into round about one megahertz and I say round about because it's obviously not got a digital display. It's not noisy if I turn it you can hear the signal there now So we'll take it back to one megahertz, which is where this transmitter is operating. And on the laptop, I am going to hit the YouTube free music library. And apparently this is a new song, Ambient Calm. bit so let's try something else it sounds quite distorted so we'll turn this input level control down might turn the volume on the laptop down actually and what the instructions I gather are saying are you tune until you get it fully quietening on the frequency so you select Try somebody else's music. So, as you see, we are getting the thing to work. However, um, even with the radio down, you can see that the spectrum analyzer is uh, showing that it's producing very large harmonics either side of the carrier frequency. Well, you know, it sounds how it sounds. It's not perfect. It's not brilliant. It 
so there we go. Let's drop that down. Um, all I can say for a kit build, it's not an easy kit. Uh, it's. I've certainly had easier kits to build. The fact that the resistors are missing in some cases, that they're very badly printed, means that you have to use a meter. The fact that you get so many extras also confuses the issue quite a bit. Now, as far as the soldering goes, the board is very nice. It really does solder very well. And yeah, um, it would be nice to have a sort of like dial knob on the top of the input control. But everything else uh, and the frequency control, unless you just plan to use it on one frequency. But everything else seems to work. So I can't really complain, really. Well, I can. I'm good at complaining. But that's the, that's the medium wave Chinese transmitter kit. I'll put a picture up and a link to the listing in, 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 in I'll put it in the description as well as uh, down, down at the bottom here as to where you can get or what it was called on AliExpress. It's overcomplicated, I think, for what it is. It's not the cleanest transmitter in the world, but it does work as a kit. So give it a decent aerial. I'd like to see what the range is, but at the moment it's half past 11 at night and I don't plan to do much more with it. If you like this video, why not consider hitting the subscribe button, the bell button. All of those are really great. You could even watch one of my other videos, which will come up here or here. The subscribe button's over here. Really, you could knock on that and push the bell, be really good. Take care everybody, stay safe in these wonderful times that we live in. Bye for now.